All right, boys and girls, it is time for us to continue through the playthrough portion of this beginner's guide, the ultimate beginner's guide. Last episode, if you followed through with it, we got so many items, including at the end, I decided to take a jaunt down memory lane and go to get the uh, the, the, um, the Grave Lord Sword, something I have not done in a long time. Of course, I haven't played this game in a long time, except for my walkthrough, which I have uh, recently or playthrough which I've recently been completing and uploading but um whoa hello but yeah I didn't get the Grave Lord sword uh, at the beginning of that no suicide run so alright anyways up here folks returning players anyone don't go for that guy first go for fire bro go for him second or third depending on if that guy comes down right away or not because the guy with the axe, battle axe, will have to, uh, he will have some explaining to do because, uh, he will be kicking your booty if you worry about the fire guy first. Now uh, you can, you can attack the fire guy first. There's a chance the battle axe guy will miss. I just realized what I said makes no sense, so don't pay, oh my lord in heaven! Ring a sacrifice, please. Well, if you don't want to roll or jump back across the bridge, you can do that. So let's pretend like um, his video just started. Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Anyways. No big deal. That's the thing. I used to get so upset with this game when I died. I got so mad I broke the control on Capper Demon. Yeah, there's no need for that. No need for that. Okay, my souls are right over there, but th this guy's going to pelt me with fire bombs. So, this is what happens if you kill this guy first. Nothing. See, like I said, make sure you kill that guy first. <laughs> okay. And again, we're able to do this because of this sword, okay? These guys might take more than one shot um, if you don't have this sword right now. Because um, you would you won't have anything upgraded. I mean, you could get some stats to get a better weapon. I mean, the weapons I got, there's not many. Well, I guess some of them can be used right away, but you have to invest some stats depending on what you your uh, your starting class was. But uh, even at base level, I don't think those are going to be as good as this sword right away. So that's like the one shot like a rat. It's really good. Plus, like I said, I don't know if everyone wants to use miracles, but having that extra healing element, a homeward spell, there are some other spells, other face spells that are used that are useful. So up here, these guys are gonna jump at you. Don't give them a chance to jump. This guy wants to throw fire bombs at you. Don't give them a chance. This guy just wants to. Oh my goodness. R2 for a thrust attack. Hopefully we get the boulder side sword. That would be so much fun. Alright, you can come down here. Look at that, boys and girls. And get a lost soul of an undead or something like that. And you can come in here and get another soul. Very few people know about that one. It's such a, it's an immediate turn to your left once you fall down. Okay, these guys are invulnerable climbing over fences. I would highly recommend locking on, like I did not just do. Hey, look, they're not invisible while hanging, though. That seems like more of them than I remember down here. Hmm. Thought there were only there were two hanging and two that came over the edge. Not three. Anyways, this is a humanity. If you didn't want to do that bottom part and just want humanity, you're in luck because guess what you can do? You can jump. Look at that. Be Van Halen and jump. Well, trust me, you can. You can jump over there. I flubbed it, but you can. Alright, epicness coming. Epicness coming in five, four. Three, two, one.
Okay. Come up here. Whoa, he heard of Van Halen. They all heard Van Halen. We're jumping around. Is Van Halen worth the jump? Look at that, they all jump. If you don't have this shield or don't like this shield for some reason, go get yourself a wooden shield. Good luck if they breathe fire though. Wood and fire. Don't mix. Well, petrified, maybe. I don't know. I'm just assuming. Alright, we can level up. But we're not going to because we need to buy some goodies from this guy over here, the goodie seller. You, sir, not the goodie seller. You better drop the Titanite charge for me. Oh, I got his skirt and his hat. How cute. You have nothing for me. Where's this guy? You're just kind of gazing off into the distance. I don't mind that at all. These guys, you're going to hide behind your shield. I'm going to... I'm going to backstab you. Ow. Jerk. I'm going to kick you. Kill you. There's your strategy. It can be parried, too. Kick if they're holding up their... You can also circle around them fast enough and eventually backstab them. R2. For you. No sword... No, uh... What do you call it for me? Whoa, thank you. Estus Flask. Someone uh, kindled the bonfire, so I got an extra Estus Flask. So from this guy, we can purchase some good stuff. One, the residence key and the bottomless box. We also need to purchase... I'm going to get a heater shield for him. Um, oops, what am I doing? So we are going to pop uh, this guy here. 2,000 souls. We are going to purchase. Uh, we could get a rapier. I don't know if we'll need it. The reinforced club is really good too. If you end up uh, doing a low level run, the reinforced club, you can see the stats here. Very low, just 12 strength. We could do that, make that uh, lightning or whatever. Um, okay, what am I doing? Where is the um, shield at? We want the heater shield. There we go. One of the best shields in the game, in my humble opinion. Could also get the rapier, which is going to be really good for, like, black knights and stuff like that. But we already have this sword, so we won't need that. Um, view rate messages. Sure, let's get that. I think we get that if we kill him. So here's the thing, too. If you kill... Dried finger now. If we kill this guy, right, we get... Um, Anuchi Katana really early. Oh, I come back. <laughs> However, if you kill him, you will not have access to the items he sells anymore. Like bows and arrows and stuff like that. However, there will be other people that you can get arrows from. Which is why we're going to kill him and get the Uchi Katana and the souls. There we go. So you get the Dried Finger Humanity and the Uchi. Uchi Katana, extremely good. Has bleed damage to it. You can see there, we don't have enough. It needs 14-14 to wield it. But it is a very good weapon. And uh, we just got it early so I don't have to pay for it later on. And uh, I never come back to that guy anyways, so... Dead. You can see the difference in uh, damage numbers there. And apparently there's a bunch of graveboard servants around here. Alright, let's come on over here, pick up some throwing knives. Now, we don't need this item in here at all, but I'll show you how to do it. Run, hold it straight, jump, and you can get yourself a crossbow. How lovely. We got some ourselves a crossbow. This guy is excited. He finally gets a chance at revenge. Same with these guys. 
This works faster than yours. Alright. Now we just make our way back through the level. See, we got one soft humanity up there. That's good. I would like another one when we face the Black Knight. Because we get the Black Knight sword. As you saw if you watched some of my walkthrough. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, we're not even going to heal there. It's going to run across this bridge. Do not stand on that bridge if you, unless you like dying. Because they will firebomb the crap out of you. You're top. No top. Give me some humanity. There's a guy waiting right inside here. There's a guy over here. There's some black firebombs in here. Again, I may be look, making this look easy, but I'm telling you guys, all you have to do on these enemies, lock on and block them. Except up here. This is the first kind of real tricky part. Because you have these guys who come at you, then this guy. So run around this guy. You don't need to backstab. You can just kill him in one shot. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Kill the fire guy first. Just run around all of them and kill the fire guy. Or you could lure him out one by one if you really wanted to, I guess. All right, we're going to come up here and clear out the fire bombers, just because we're going to be thorough with this. They have wonderful aim. We're going to go in here. Use the residence key. I think the master key works, too. Anyways, here are some old pine resin or gold pine resin uh, uh, imbues your weapon with lightning damage. Which is good, but uh, we don't need that. Take care of this guy. He's not going to drop anything. Come down here. Oh gosh. Well, he was ready to die, but... Uh, Get that parry and repost him before this guy attacks us. We got nothing out of that. Completely nothing. Come up here. Q barrel. Get out of barrel's way. Lock. Kill. Come on over here. Now, I highly recommend. I'm going to put this shield on, but it doesn't really matter. Um. I can put gloves on now, can I? Yeah, I can. But the other one's better. Nope. Okay. I highly recommend parrying this guy. If you can't parry Black Knights, then don't do what I'm about to do. You won't get the Black Knight sword, potentially, but do not. You will kill him. You will get killed. Um, parrying is the, by far the easiest way to take care of this guy. Blocking him is not going to work. You may be able to block one or two attacks, but then your stamina's going to be gone and he's going to combo you. Down here it's too hard to backstab him. You can pull him all the way up here and play the backstab game with him if you want. If you don't have this weapon, I highly recommend um, buying a rapier and using the rapier because a rapier has enhanced crit damage. Alright, but for purposes of this, we are going to go in here. And as soon as his arm comes down, L2, he's backing up, arm down, L2, to R1, so it goes. he knows it's a bad day. Give me thine sword. Every play that I've done so far recently, I've got a sword. I did not get a sword that time. We did not get lucky and get the Black Knight Sword. That's okay. We have more. We have two more uh, tries at it. If we don't get that, we have other weapons. Plenty of other good weapons that we can utilize. Okay. So. Beginner's Guide. Havel, right? Okay. Havel will kick your butt if you're not careful. My butt is about to be kicked. <laughs> We're going to try him. Okay. Havel can be parried. Havel can be chain backstabbed. Havel cannot be made fun of, though, because if he two hands his weapon, he will annihilate you. Okay. 
that can be parried. You can also backstab him fairly easily out of that. You can just parry him or strafe that. When he goes two-handed, that's when you have to watch out. That attack would have killed me if I didn't parry him. Just so you know. He's is a slow attack, so you do have a lot of time. Just be prepared. If he does hit you, you're dead. Okay. Concentrate. If you don't feel comfortable parrying, again, you can backstab him. Is our telegraph pretty good? We'll go to the backstab. There we go. That will obviously annihilate you too. Oof, that was a late one. That one was a little late. There we go. One more, and he is dead. Okay, we do not want to parry that one. There's your one block. And there's your death. <laughs> you gotta be careful to roll out of that, because you will combo it. Hevel vanquished. Evil's Ring acquired. Evil's Ring will now let us wear whatever we want, basically. That is the best, uh... Oh my goodness. I wish there was a way to, um... Like, switch equipment. Wanderer is better. Crimson is better. Here we go. You can also try to get the Black Knight Helper over here, if you really want to. We'll try for it. Let's try for the Black Knight Helper. It is over here, and the Grass Crest Shield is also over here. So let's go get that. Now be prepared. The Black Knight Helper Knight will totally annihilate me because I have very little weapon damage. Okay, but when I lack in weapon damage, I make up for in heart. Grass Crest Shield is right down there. Black Knight Halberd Boy is right there. Alright, I am not good at parrying this guy, so I will not be parrying him. What I'm going to do is just backstab him to that. And miss the backstab. Let's see, he's going to take a while. You can also kick him off the edge. Oh, that's close. That's not a good spot to backstab Chino. That was a delayed, uh, delayed R1 for some reason there. Okay, not a good spot. Black Knight Helper, please! Black Knight Helper, baby. Game over. That is a favorite of speedrunners. If you are lucky enough to get that, like I was. GG. Of course, I haven't played with that weapon in forever and a day, so I probably flub it completely, but we now have the Black Knight Helper. The grass crest shield. 
we now are going to go back. You can actually subvert. Subvert? I don't know. You can, uh, go to Andre from here. You don't have to kill Taurus Demon. But, uh, we will go kill Taurus Demon. I think he's still there. He did not go to Firelink Shrine. He said you can go the back way here. And it's, uh, perfectly feasible. So again, if you didn't get the Black Knight Helper, use whatever weapon you like. Even if you got the Black Knight Helper, you may not like it. It's a uh, sort of a tricky move set. A lot of it's two-handed. So, that does require a lot of strength and um, dexterity to wield it. So we won't be able to do that for a while. I don't know where that guy came. Like, he was... Did I rest at a bonfire? All I did was go to a different area. Anyway, here's the boss fog. Come over here. In this last thing, there's going to be a crystal lizard who gives us some stuff. Kill him. If for some reason he disappears, all you have to do is save and quit, and um, he will pop right back up where he began his life. This guy's shooting something. I don't know what he's shooting. Okay, so Taurus, right? Easiest way to kill Taurus. I'll tell you right now. Remember those, uh, where are they at? Went the wrong way. Those firebombs we got earlier? Grab firebombs, we're gonna go. We're going to meet him over here. He's going to hop down about halfway through. Here he is. Just run back. Wait for the epic music. We're going to do a plunging attack. And then we're just going to um, basically throw black fire bombs at his face. There we go. I'm going to fall off the edge, holding our run. Unfortunately, you'll end up on this side here. Go turn around, go to his face or his crotch, prefer his hand. Now she can throw that far as she can. You can also melee him obviously. There you go. There is Taurus Demon. Did we get his weapon? Oh, too bad. Alright, well, after um, Taurus Demon's done, so we'll end it here with this very beautiful shot, and next episode we will come back and talk to Solaire. Yeah, there you go. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Next episode, Solaire and uh, the Undead Parish. Adios.